and a very warm good afternoon to one and all. Welcome to Sports Singapore's live coverage of the 2021 National School Games. I'm Nigel Mossbergen and we're live from uh, Chonghua Secondary School for the Badminton South Zone Finals B Division Girls. It's going to be a very, very exciting afternoon uh, in shot right now, ladies and gentlemen. The teams playing this afternoon, Raffles Girls Secondary School and Fairfield Methodist Secondary School. And with me this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I am not doing this alone. My co-commentator this afternoon, she's going to help us with all the really important badminton knowledge, is a member of Team Singapore's National Badminton Squad. She's number two in Singapore right now, ranked, and her name is Jocelyn Hui. Good afternoon, Jocelyn. Good afternoon, Nigel. Glad to be here and uh, looking forward to do, watch these exciting games with you. We're live streaming this, ladies and gentlemen, a best of five matches. Five matches going to be played this afternoon. Right now in progress will be, well, not in progress because uh, the girls are warming up. But uh, right now we have the first singles uh, that's going to be played. That'll be followed by the first doubles. Um, <coughs> then we're expecting the second sing singles and then the second doubles and finally the third singles. It's a best of five, however, so the first team to, re to reach um, and win three matches is actually the winner of uh, these grand finals. Perhaps you want to tell us uh, who's on court right now, Jocelyn. So uh, we have Jennifer Wu from Raffles Girls School and Chloe Chong from Fairfield Melody School. Okay. Well, the girls are warming up. They normally have like a, a two-minute warm-up. We've got a great camera angle. They're about to play. Yep. Chloe from Fairfield to serve. We have a 21-point scoring system at 11 points. There will be a 60-second timeout, an interval called. Uh, between games, there will be a two-minute interval. And in the third game, players will change ends after 11 points. Right. So actually, uh, both schools played seven schools before entering the finals today. But do you know what makes today's match so much more interesting, Nigel? Yes, what? Both of them have not lost a single school in the prelim rounds and the quarterfinals. Wow. And not only did Raffles Girls School won all of the schools, they maintained a score of five matches to left in wow. every game. Impressive, isn't it? Has uh, RGS already played? Um, have they already played? Sorry. Fairfield? No, no, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time they've been playing. In the finals, huh? Yep. Uh, fun fact, scores at 2 all. Um... Raffles Girls Secondary School have won the Badminton South Zone Finals this tournament for the last 20 years. <laughs> yeah, from, very so impressive. from 2001 till 2021. Well, not yet, I beg your pardon. We are in 2021. So who knows? Fairfield Methodist School may, 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 may cause, create an upset. Yeah, yeah. Fairfield were playing in the finals in 2019 as well. Uh, oh. yeah. But they fall short for uh, five matches to love. I see. But we shall see how they fare, uh, play out today. Okay. Uh. My co-commentator, ladies and gentlemen, Jaslyn, is no stranger to this sport. She told me yesterday she's been playing this since she was very young. She's currently ranked number two in the national squad. Um, she's played numerous tournaments, SEA Games, Youth Olympic Games, We'll talk about it in a little while. But when you were in school, uh, your secondary school time, did you play in this tournament? Yes, yes. I represented Singapore Sports School for four years. Okay. Set one to set four. And we were from the North Zone. Okay. And um, I'm proud to say that for four years in <coughs> sports school, we emerged the champion for zonals and uh, as well as nationals. Well, you are the Singapore Sports School, so you are the elite badminton school. You have to be. You must yes, be. Yes, we, we have to be. So every team that plays you, they are, um, what are they, excited, nervous, keen to play? Because they, I assume they do lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're excited to play with uh, 
play with us because yeah. you know we train every day and sure. uh, we can bring a different challenge to them yeah. when we play with them. And so uh, sometimes they really appreciate the chance to play with us. Yep. And uh, we as athletes, we pay our best as well. Yep, we don't mock them, we do our best. Excellent. Yeah, yeah I think the best way to, to play a sport and get better at one is to keep playing better players. That's the only way yep. you get better, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay. So back to court, where are we now? We are currently at 5-8. RGS taking a three-point lead. In the adjoining court here at Chonghua Secondary School, ladies and gentlemen, we have the battle for third and fourth placing. And that is being fought between St. Margaret's Secondary School and Ang Mo Kyo Secondary. So we don't have them on shot, but uh, it's also being live streamed at the same time. And we have a commentator, a live commentary uh, on that one as well. But we're here for match number one of the Badminton South Zone Final Girls. Raffles Girls Secondary School taking on Fairfield Methodist Secondary School. Yep. So Nigel, so the difference between women's singles and men's singles is that women's singles tend to play uh, higher shots mm. to drag out your opponent before you go for the hard smash because as women we don't have that much of a power to kill in one shot so we we'll rather drag out the game and then Longer, uh, longer, longer rallies. rallies? Yeah, yeah. Which means your fitness level, and your physicality, you, you really got to be top yeah, of your game, yeah. right? And the precision in your shots have ah. to be able to drag your opponents from corner to corner, right. left to right, right, up and down. Yeah. Well, when you see the best uh, male badminton players in the world, they're very explosive. Right, right, right. They'll just keep smashing, yeah. keep the shot low yeah. and fast. Yeah. One yeah. of the most exciting uh, spectator sports ever, I think, on court is badminton. Both ladies and, 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 men's, and, and men's badminton. Yeah. Really fun to watch. Great spectator sport. And it's so different, you know, between singles and doubles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Singles is much more of a rally game and yep. uh, corner to corner, but mm -hmm. doubles is more smash, defend, counter attack. So much more explosive. Which do you enjoy more, playing singles or doubles? I specialize in singles, right. but I do play doubles occasionally, okay. and I like the different challenge challenges that I face mm -hmm. because I can train different things as well mm -hmm. when I'm playing doubles. Mm -hmm. like more. I think I think different different tactics as well, right? When yeah, you're on doubles definitely. Court. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, later during the doubles match, I, I'm sure Jocelyn will share with us some of the uh, doubles tactics. She's just told us what the tactics are for ladies singles. Score now. It's 13-6. Wow, that's a nice match for Fairfield. So the Raffles goal, goal, it's uh, obviously uh, more in control of the entire rally. She speed up when she need she needs to and slow down when she's she's uh, in a bad position as well. Right. She's controlling the rally really well. Right. Well obviously all these schools, both um, Raffles Girls, Fairfield Methodist on the other court for third and fourth, St. Margaret's and Al Mulkio, they're relying on, on, on external coaches, good coaching. Yep, um, yep. Talking about external, ladies and gentlemen, because of the COVID restrictions, um, unfortunately, this year's uh, national school games, no spectators are allowed, so you don't see too many people on court. Um, from this camera angle, the audience is actually sitting behind both Jocelyn and, and myself uh, in the gallery. We are in a race position, but uh, no spectators allowed, or parents, etc. Um, the only people allowed in the uh, indoor sports hall are the players themselves, the coaches, the teachers, the organizers, the conveners, the production crew, and of course us. So not too many people, but at least, at least these girls have an opportunity this yep. year, 2021, to, to play in this competition. Yep, I think definitely. that's great. Yep. That's a good thing, like what we said yesterday, uh, it's good for the students to represent their school, represent themselves, and you know, keep some spirit going right you know. we're at 1917 we've been talking about so many things and the game is progressing so quickly wow, oh my goodness what a, a nice smash what? And right now mm. um jennifer it's on to a game point the first game point right it's 
went long. In fact, some of these girls uh, will be selected to be part of an intermediate uh, team squad. Is that correct? Yes, uh, Jennifer is actually part of the squad as well. Okay. Yeah. So, one thing about the squad is that they are groomed to be champions in the future. Okay. What yeah. exactly uh, is the criteria and, and how does it work to be a member of the intermediate team squad? Is that correct? ITS? Uh, National Intermediate Squad. Okay. Yeah, NIS. NIS. Okay. Yeah, NIS. So I think the main criteria, uh, not only just be top four in your category, you know, each group, right. but also the passion and the, you know, the motivation to be, to go to play badminton for a long run. Excellent. Yeah, because an <coughs> intermediate squad after junior, you'll move on to the senior, mm -hmm. and then it will be open play. You know, you'll meet anyone and anyone of different age. You know. I see. Yeah. Well, hold that thought. Score now at twenty-one ten. Match one. First singles. We'll take a short uh, minute break I think or two minutes are the intervals in between games we'll be right back with more live commentary of this badminton south zone finals girls And we're back. We are now in game two of the uh, Badminton South Zone Finals girls uh, between Raffles Girls School and Fairfield Methodist School. This is game two. In game one, it, it went very quickly. I think the score was, was it 21? 10. 21 10. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. We've got um, somebody's taking a picture of us live, so, was that a video? <laughs> So we're in uh, game number two. Who's on court, uh, Jocelyn? Jennifer Players. Wu from Raffles Girls School mm -hmm. and Chloe, Chloe Cheong from Fairfield. Okay. Yeah. Well, what we have right now is um, is a tough fight because, as uh, Jocelyn mentioned, wow. leading up to this final, uh, both uh, both schools were unbeaten. Yeah, they were unbeaten. So hopefully it's a tough fight. However, I must add, as we did say in set in game one. Uh, that Raffles Girls has the distinction of winning this South Zone Finals uh, for the last 20 years. You heard me right? 20 yep. years. 20 years. Yeah. They've, they've not really been national champions because they always come up against the Singapore Sports School and, um, well, <laughs> <laughs> they come in second. <laughs> but they definitely put out a good fight every yeah. year. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a nice one. We will be covering all five uh, matches, uh, which will Excellent. which will then follow uh, be followed by the um, prize-giving ceremony. Mm -hmm. But please note that at the end of three matches, if one team is already up um, uh, three, three matches to love, they've actually won the final. The other two matches will be a formality, only to be to give the uh, players the opportunity to play which i think is pretty good yeah 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 it's really good <coughs> well let's hope the fairfield girl wow. puts up a hard fight oh nice but she's gonna lose it <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> the moment she returned you knew that uh, yeah you see how jennifer Explosive, uh, yeah. Bring came her to forward, the front came and forward. Push her yeah. yeah. Good yeah. tactics. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. I think this game is also being able to anticipate and to read the next shot to know where yep. your opponent's going to go. But to, to play your approach shot and then to know what you're going to do after that, right? Yes, yes. This Fairfield girl has a lot of uh, sharp touches. Right. I can see on her both rear court shots, it's very sharp at the side. 
Oh, here's another question for you. Would you put your two best players at, at first singles? What's the strategy the coaches when they when they do the playlist or the team list or the match playlist? How does it work? Your best player is your first singles player? Uh, it really depends mm -hmm. because if you put at the, right at the start, mm -hmm. even though you have a lead, mm -hmm. but at the end you couldn't finish the game. I see. Let's say you have a crucial one at two two all, right? right? And if you don't have your strongest player at the, at the end, right. you wouldn't be able to finish it. Right. But it's more of balancing, guessing what your opponent is gonna do. Uh, put right. for first single, second single, third single, right. as well as doubles. Right. Yeah, it's it's quite interesting actually. You know, the the lineup it can actually affect the entire result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's tactics as well. It's strategy that coaches uh, put into action. Yep. Knowing, yep. knowing the strengths and the weaknesses of your opponents. Definitely. Yeah. However, in 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 um, this tournament. Mm. Uh, in this uh, national school games, all players uh, can only play either in the singles or the doubles. Yeah, yeah. I think this was implemented to make sure that everyone have a, has a fair chance to play. Correct. Yeah. So you need a minimum of seven players, being three singles players and um, and two pairs of doubles. Yep. Four doubles players, so that's seven. Seven. With reserves, I assume the team strength could be anything from ten to twelve players, right? Yeah. Yeah. So badminton, not just as a CCA in school, but something that girls oh. can play competitively. Yeah. And like Jaslyn, take it to a, a national level. Yeah. Uh, it takes a lot of, uh, I think, the passion to yeah. lo the, love the sport, to do it every day, day in, day out. Mm -hmm. I think that what, what makes you want to be a national, national player. Yeah. Well, let's come to you on that. With the score at 10-6 uh, or 7 Seven, seven ten. ten. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me about your your your, your journey in the, in the in in Team Singapore. How did it start? And you know, where oh, right. where, where are you now? So I started when I was ten. Right. You know, uh, I only started because I wanted to stay active. Okay. Not just not that I wanted to be the the best in the sport, but okay. then I started to like the sport mm -hmm. because you know, as you can see. You can manipulate the shutter to go exactly where you want to go. Mm. And then you visualize a game plan in your mind. Mm. And then you get to play it out and then you win a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so behind, behind every point is a small win. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's the thrill and the happiness that I get from the sport. And then I just keep doing it, wanting to get better. Wanting right. to get. So I think it's a personal development to right. that turned into a passion for me okay. in, in uh, badminton. Okay. Yeah, so... When I was, uh, so I entered the sports school, uh -huh. knowing that they have world-class facilities yeah. to, you know, further amplify my growth in badminton. Sure. Yeah, so after that, uh, in 2015, mm -hmm. I entered the National Intermediate Squad. Okay. And then I got uh, international experience, played with in international players, and I got uh, even more motivated to be better. Awesome. Already, not just in Singapore, but in the region, in the in the entire world. Okay. Yeah. So, so you've travelled to many countries, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Talk about that in a bit. Let's yeah. go back to the court. Score at 12-7. Uh, 12-7. Uh, Raffles Girls match one in this final of the Badminton South Zone. Oh. B she has a girls. very nice follow-up, yeah. doesn't she, the Raffles mm -hmm. goal? Very quick at the net. This B division oh. means that the players are mainly in uh, secondary three and four. Yep. And as a point of fact, ladies and gentlemen, it's good that the national school games, often referred to as NSG, mm -hmm. has come back in 2021. It was last played in 2019. Uh, there were no games in 2020, obviously due to, to COVID. Uh, but this year, only 12 sports are being competed, uh, with six being live streamed. Um, the 12 sports that are being competed are, for obvious reasons, non-contact sports. Uh, they are badminton, tennis, table tennis, volleyball, sepa takro, wushu, taekwondo, shooting, golf, the one I like saying, rope, rope skipping, skipping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bowling and gymnastics, all non-contact sports, all 12 of them. The full NSG actually comprises 29 sports, but this year, th thankfully, um, this 2021 edition has seen 12,000 students from 270 schools in Singapore, both primary and secondary, compete in these 12 sports. So it's great that NSG is back 
in 2021 with a bang, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Back to the court, we have seen some uh, mm -hmm. disagreement with the Empire. Ah, yeah. What was the call? Uh, I think it was uh, her racket went over the net, and uh, she don't, she doesn't think so. Okay. Yeah, she thought she touched the net, but the Empire see. said that it's because the racket okay. went over the net. Okay. Yeah. The racket is allowed to touch the net. Yes. No. No, right? Yeah. Not, at Not all, until right? the shadow touches the floor, then you are allowed to touch the net. I see. Yeah. And the racket cannot go over the net, right? Yeah, cannot go over the net. Mm -hmm. Same thing with all racket sports, actually. Yeah, yeah, actually. And all sports that require net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice defense. Just out. Oh, went out. Just long. <coughs> oh, yeah, 11. This Fairfield singles player, first match, is putting up a gallant challenge. She's doing her best, she's trying. Yep. We are in a warm and humid uh, indoor sports hall, obviously, <laughs> because we're playing badminton. All the fans uh, have to be turned off. Yeah, so that it doesn't affect the shutter speed. Right. Yeah. And so too the air conditioning, the vents, so that it doesn't affect the shuttle speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now this special girl, uh, Chloe, is yep. actually putting a very really great fight. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. The girls are getting some support from their wow. spectator friends, their their teammates. Yeah, nice yeah. one. Nice one. Great, great well, shot. Yeah, it's like a very sharp shot. Right? Mm. So we're here in um, watching match number one, and whilst that's in progress. Um, The third and fourth placing is also in progress in the adjoining court between St. Margaret Secondary School and Ang Mo Kyo Secondary. Here for the Badminton South Zone Finals girls. Coming to you live from uh, Chonghua Secondary School. Nice. And this concludes the first game. Wow. First singles. Uh, first first match. School. Yep. Took it. That was fast. Done in 15 minutes. Yeah. And on the other court, uh, Ang Mung Kyo is, uh, has won the first game. Yep. And, and she's is now ahead in the second game against St. Margaret's. So all the best to the, uh, to the girls playing in third and fourth position. Okay, we have a short two-minute uh, interval. We'll be back with match number two, which will come back to you live in just a few uh, couple of minutes.
and we're back. We are now here for the first doubles, match number two, uh, between Raffles Girls School and Fairfield Methodist Secondary School. Um, the first match was won by Raffles Girls School, I would say rather com comfortably. Yeah, yeah, Jocelyn, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I'm Nigel Mossbergen, your match commentator. Um, Co-commentating with me is Singapore's national badminton Team Singapore, I beg your pardon, number two, Jaslyn Hui. What do you think of uh, this doubles action so far? We're only at 2 1, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, 3 already. Okay. 3 1, and so far it's going really well. Yeah. And as you can <coughs> see from the singles and the doubles, it's more of uh, dragging out your opponent and make sure to defend well <coughs> and wait for the right opportunity to attack. Sure. As compared to the doubles, uh, men's doubles is always just. Attack. Blindly attacking, yeah. <laughs> because they are very powerful. Yes. So they would think that uh, keep attacking yes. to make your s opponent uncomfortable. Right. But for girls, if you're not so powerful, it's easier for your opponent to counter attack. I so you'd rather not to mm -hmm. attack blindly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would I be right to say that in doubles, especially like, like this match we're watching now, the points are going to be short. The rallies are going to be three, four shots, maybe longer. Ooh. Ooh nice one. Really nice one. Uh, so from Raffles Girls School, you, we you have Chloe Chan. You could hear that smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely <Yeah>. sound. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. So we're currently at 3-6. Mm -hmm. And um, Fairfield, we have Lim Si mm -hmm. and Cheyenne Chiang. Okay. And um, Raffles Girls School, we have Chloe Chan and Tan Li Ting. All right. Yeah. So it's currently at 4-6. For those of you that have just joined us, we were saying earlier in match number one that uh, Raffles girls are um, more or less the favourites for this, given mm -hmm. that they have won this particular competition, which is the South Zone Finals. They've won it for the last 20 years, since uh, wow. the year 2001. So, well, that makes them favourites. <laughs> yep across the board, but in the Nationals, they have lost consistently, always coming in second, to the elite uh, badminton school, I guess, in Singapore, which is the Singapore Sports School, which produces all the national badminton players, uh, like Jocelyn, and she played in that tournament as well for three, four years, I believe, yes? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> from 2013 to 2016. Okay. With the score at 9-5, uh, Jocelyn, you have played in the SEA Games, I believe, two years ago? Yeah, uh, back in Philippines, uh, 2019, I played uh, for the women's team as mm -hmm. well as my individual event, okay. event in uh, women's singles. And yeah. how did you do? So, uh, the women's team and men's team, we came in uh, third. Okay. Yeah, and for my individual individual event, I came in uh, quarterfinals. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Lost to a Thailand player. Right. She's cu currently ranked, I think, top 30 in the world. Wow. Yeah. Talk about world ranking. You're in the top hundred, right? World ranking. I, I know I'm the ranking. Fans of hundred. <laughs> Sorry. Fans of hundred. Not to worry. <laughs> I think by the end of 2021, I mean nobody's playing now. There's not much competition since 2020 till now, right? Yeah, yeah. But recently they have been opening up the borders. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, our Singapore government uh, does not encourage us to go because mm -hmm. you, you know it's dangerous and you don't know what what will happen. Yeah, and we don't don't really know the side effects that you have on an athlete, sure. athletic body. Sure. Yeah, so we might don't want to take the risk. Well, yeah. even with the Olympics, which is supposed to be happening in two three months' time, there's still so much uncertainty. Mm. Uh, but the Sea Games this year is scheduled in December. Yeah. In Vietnam, is that correct? Yeah, twenty first November to fifth December. Actually. Right. Yeah. Have you guys begun preparation? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have started our preparation since last year, actually. Okay. Since the last Sea Games, actually, because okay, it yeah, takes I'm so sure. much to, so, so much time to you I'm know, sure. get your technical and speed and everything. Right, right, yeah. right. Well, hopefully all goes well. Singapore sends a team. <laughs> sea Games, I think, will happen in December. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's We're all so. hopeful for that. Mm -hmm. Preparation involved. Score now at. Six twelve. And uh, Raffles Girls School is taking a seven-point lead at 13-7. Mm. Oh, six. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jocelyn says she's on the cusp of uh, the top 100 world ranking. Uh, next time, I'm sure Jocelyn and I have this conversation down the road. She would have broken the top 100. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So all the best on that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You did tell me yesterday when we were uh, co-commentating at the uh, semifinals of the boys' mm -hmm. uh, North Zone uh, semifinals that you did play in the Youth Olympic Games, correct? Would yeah. You tell yeah. us a little bit, a, a little bit about that. Right. So the Youth Olympic Games happened in 2018 in Buenos mm -hmm. Aires, mm -hmm. and um, for that uh, I came in uh, fourth. Okay. Yeah, for the competition. Wow. Unfortunately, um, Olympics you don't have a medal for fourth. Oh Maybe well. One, two, three. Yeah. But uh, I'm quite proud of that achiev achievement. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the uh, you know the Junior Olympics. And, right. Uh, right. You get to see every. Right. Uh, it's like a mini Olympics. Right. Actually. In the World Championships, when you're third and fourth, do you do you get a medal? No. In sorry, certain in sports, right? Certain sports, when you come in third or you played for third and fourth place. Certain sports, you you re do receive a, me a medal, I believe. I'm not sure what sports they are, though. Um, I think they will just have two run-ups, ah. rather than uh, having a, a fourth placing. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Wow. Yeah. RGS, is, smash, right? is, RGS is on a run right now. They Definitely. are on a run. At 18... Eight. eight. Yeah. Four girls on court. Fairfield is giving it. They're all... They're doing their best. They're yeah. coming up against tough opponents. You uh, can see that they're really enjoying the match. Yeah. yeah. Being played here at Chongqing, uh, Chonghua, I beg your pardon, uh, secondary school. Uh, the Badminton South Zone Finals Girls, Raffles Girls School versus uh, Fairfield uh, Methodist School. In And uh, on the adjoining court is the third and fourth placing. Uh, between St. Margaret Secondary and Ang Mo Kyo Secondary. Yep, and we have concluded the first game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and you will have a two minute interval from now. And we'll be back in two minutes. Okay. And we're back for game two, first yep. doubles. The first, uh, in the first game, Raffles girls uh, won by quite a, quite a big score. Yeah, quite a huge lead, 21-8. Mm. Huge lead. Oh, it's Colleg, the Empire Colleg, because there's mm -hmm. a shuttle entering the court. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yes, because in the adjoining court, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the third and fourth uh, placing match going on. It's also being live streamed with a commentary. Mm -hmm. um, and that is between St. Margaret Secondary and Ang Mong Kyo Secondary. If you're, if you're just joining us now, welcome to the National School Games, the NSG 2021. Badminton South Zone Finals girls. In fact, at this time, I think um, all four of these girls' schools, they would be breaking because a lot of schools break at uh, 1.30 or 2 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, on a day like today, on a Thursday. So I'm sure a lot of their friends uh, are watching from school on their smartphones or devices. I would think so yeah. too. So, folks. Nice. Oh, that's a nice defense. It's all happening right here. So we're actually seeing history repeat itself. Um, so in back in 2019, Raffles Girls School was up against Fairfield in the finals as well. Mm -hmm. And then um, for third, fourth placing, Amokyo Sek was actually up against CHIJ oh. instead of uh, St. Margaret. Okay. So this year, St. Margaret entered the third and fourth placing. Right. Yeah. Well, it's pretty obvious that some of these schools have a tradition of badminton uh, going back uh, many, many years. Yep. Uh, Raffles Girls have won this South Zone final for the last, believe it or not, 20 years. Yes, you heard it right. 20 years since 2001. That's an unbelievable achievement. An awesome achievement. Yeah, well, it's a worldwide achievement. I'm telling you, it's really awesome. Uh, however, in the national finals, finals, they've always been hard pressed. They've always come up against the Singapore Sports School. Unfortunately, that being the elite badminton um, school, I guess. I mean, you know, among other sports, anybody who comes up against a Singapore uh, sports school and all the elite sports is going to find it hard to, to beat them. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we are in... Uh, Short recess. So in recess, yeah, yeah. Recess it is. It's 11-1 in game two of the first... Doubles. Doubles. Time out now. If you want more information, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to uh, go.gov.sg slash NSG for all uh, live streams. You want to see what you want to watch later for matches already played, for fixtures, for results, and for all the information you need to know on the national school games. Go to go, go .gov .sg slash NSG. Play continues. Yep, like 2 11 right now. So, Nigel, mm. after watching the men's team yesterday and mm. the women's team today, mm -hmm. which do you like more? I think it's different dynamic. Uh, yeah. Different things are happening on court. The guys are trying to be explosive, they're trying to end the points um, well a little earlier um, you can always see in the in, in men's badminton mm -hmm. uh, the tactics the, the guy at the back there's always some one player who naturally drift to the back because he's he's looking to smash and mm -hmm. come in and then um, there's one always coming to the forecourt who wants to 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 take the shots early at the net yep and take the drops and be defensive am i right in yeah, saying yeah. that yeah definitely mm -hmm. In a, in a doubles match, typically the best position to be is one at the front and one at the back. Yes. So when one attack at the back yes. from behind, the, yes. the one at the front will finish it. Well, we're, s we're, yeah. we're seeing it happen right now. Yeah. Our chess yeah. is playing one in front, one at the back. Yep. Whereas, That's the best position. You know, whereas uh, um, their opponents mm -hmm. are playing side to side. Yep. Fairfield is, you know. And to break that pile position, you kind of play uh, to the mid court. Sure. So in between the, f the one at the front and the one at the back. Sure. And then once they lift it up, then they will be side by side. Right. And that's how you break apart someone's position. I see. Yeah. Have you played much? Uh, well, I, I'm just curious. Have you played mixed doubles before? Yeah, and what, yeah. And what's it like? Are, are the men, um, do they take it easier or is everybody playing 100% tip top? Um, the men I'm not being rude. I'm <laughs> not saying men are better players. <laughs> I'm they're just stronger, curious. I'm, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they're playing to their advantage because they're okay. strong. They will always have the back killing, and the girl will be the one creating chances, making sure the shuttle doesn't go up, and uh, keep low, let the opponent lift up for the men to smash, right. and then the girl will kill it. Okay. Yeah. So in a recent competition in the National Open Championship mm -hmm. back in February, mm -hmm. uh, I actually get to play mixed doubles with okay. my partner Lok and Hen. Okay. And uh, we came. 
uh, up against one of my teammates who mm -hmm. eventually become the champion. Okay. Yeah, in the quarterfinals. We lost in the quarterfinals. Okay, cool. It was a really fun experience. Yeah, I'm sure it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. Okay, we better get back to the match. And we're at 420, I think. Yeah, 420. RGS had, had, um, had a shot there cross court to, to close it out, but uh, the shuttle went slightly wide. Yeah, this is a this is a quick match, isn't it? Yes. Oh, oh. great smash. Great smash for okay. RGS. Okay. Well, well done, girls. Yep. Tough luck, Fairfield. You tried your best. Mm. They mustn't be dejected. They shouldn't hold their heads down. They should hold their heads high. They've made it to the finals yeah, uh, of the South Zone. They've won all the matches prior to this. They're coming up against what I guess we would both say are slightly better opponents. Yeah. I think RGS are definitely better prepared. Uh, they come in as the favourites. I think both of them, if I'm not wrong, they are both from NIS, NIS as well, the National Intermediate Squad. Wow. Yeah, but they train at night. Mm. So there are two two squads. Okay. The one that is in Singapore Sports School and the other one that is train at night. Those okay. are for mainstream students. They have classes in the morning and then... Um, so they only have time to train at night. Okay. Yeah, so they train about uh, from 6 to 8, I believe. Wow. Yeah. And then they have to go to school next morning, and then yeah, they have other activities their after that. and do their homework. Yeah, it wasn't, it's insane. <laughs> okay, we're going to take uh, about a minute and a half break, and we're going to come back with the uh, second singles this uh, beautiful Thursday afternoon. Okay, and we're back. These breaks are really short. You know, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> we're back with the second single. Right. Dan Shi Bin from Raffles Girls School mm. and Yang Wen Fang from Fairfield. Okay. This is the second singles, ladies and gentlemen, in yeah. match three. RGS currently leads the series two matches to love, yeah. which means um, the girl from Fairfield needs to put up a hard fight and try and beat the RJS girl and enable to so that this tie can be kept alive. If not, if RJS wins this match, RJS wins the, the finals. finals. They win the trophy. Yesterday we mentioned that um, uh, the Maristella boys are obviously better in build, and but mm. today we see quite a fair yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah. terms of a body. Yes. Yeah. I was going to comment that the RGS girls are, well, 
Do, am I right? Yeah, they look stronger, well built. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, um, they've been given tips on diet, nutrition. Yeah. Maybe going to the gym, running. Yeah. Training. Sports training, yeah. physicality. You can see uh, how Shipping is jumping at the back, yeah, I trying just saw to bring her. the shots yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. And her movement on court. Yeah. Is she also in the uh, yeah. squad? Yeah, she's in the National Intimate Squad wow. as well. Looks like the entire RGS team is. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> looks like it. Okay. And we're at 5 1 now. Okay. That was fast. <laughs> yeah, certainly. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, all this is part of the National School Games, the NSG. Um, fun fact, this is the 61st edition of our school games in Singapore. It first started in 1959. In those days, it was called the Inter-School Championships. It then grew and got renamed and <laughs> until what it's called now, which is the National School Games. And this year, 2021, the NSG has come back, uh, but only being competed in 12 sports, um, all non-contact sports for obvious reasons. Um, the sports being badminton, tennis, table tennis, volleyball, sepak takro, wushu, taekwondo, shooting, golf, rope skipping, <laughs> my personal favorite, bowling and gymnastics, non-contact sports. Um, and the information that I've been given is that for this year's games, 12,000 students across primary and secondary schools in Singapore, 270 schools, are competing in, the, in these 12 sports. So I think it's amazing, uh, Jocelyn, that kids can now come back, um, and at least this year, because last year uh, everything had just sort of so more or less grind to a halt. Yeah. At least this year the NSG has come back and kids are back on court and they are playing a sport they love. Yeah. You can see the uh, shipping from Red Force is doing really well. Okay. Nine four. Very in good control, well paced. Yeah, she knows that she's drawing the opponent. Yeah. She's pushing her back and putting a drop then going cross court. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the serving. Um, in singles, mm -hmm. the, it's more a forehand serve. Um, going to the back of the court. Yeah, I guess for women singles, typically they will use a forehand serve. But recently, I've been say, seeing a change in uh, serving style. Mm -hmm. uh, more and more women are using the backhand, backhand serve, serve actually. Yep. Yep. And uh, my personal serving style is actually using the backhand. Oh, I see. Yeah, I've been using backhand styles, uh, serving style since I was uh, sec one back in 2013. More control. More control, and I prefer it. Because it's a short uh, serve, right? Just short serve. Yep. Normally, it's a short serve. You cannot backhand serve to the right of the court because of the you, you don't have enough power pushing it back, right? You so can, you if can you want to go to the back of the court, and if you want to go high, it should be forehand, right? Yeah, you can use the backhand one. You can right. flick it to the back. Right. It's normally just to uh, you know, change the momentum of your, your opponent. Sure. Catch them off guard. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yes, of course. They're, every time they're taking a short serve from you, suddenly, boom, you, put, yep. you, you, you yep. send it back. Yep, yep. Yeah, definitely. Mm. In doubles, uh, it's... Mainly a backhand short backhand serve. serve, short serve, yeah, yeah. Short serve. So because uh, doubles for doubles, you know, the first line is actually the out. That's correct. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you use a forehand full serve, mm -hmm. you will def mm -hmm. it will definitely go long. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talking about lines, our line judges, our line calls uh, now are being called. Uh, there are four line judges on court. Um, Justin, because of COVID reasons. Uh, Normally, they would be neutral from other schools, yep. but for purposes of, of this tournament, they are from the schools represented, correct? Yeah, definitely, mm -hmm. because of uh, you can yeah. mix in a uh, cross, cross bubble, right. I would say. Right, of course, of yeah. course, of course. <laughs> yes, the bubbles have been formed, uh, very well done. Mm. The players, spectators are on both sides of the arena. Uh, there's very little interaction. Uh, masks are being worn at all times, even the umpire, um, the, sp the scoreboard girls, everyone. Yeah. Masks on. It's a good practice. Yes. Wow, the referee's goal is uh, going strong. It's 14-7 right now. 14-7. Game one, match oh, three. Nice. Second singles. Ooh. Ooh. You sort of knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. 
you could anticipate. That's the best counter attack for singles. So yeah. when people bring down a shot, yeah. you place it as close as you can to the, to net, the net, and people from the when they follow up, they have to take it from the low, yeah. and then they give you a high shot. That's yeah, how you counter attack. Yeah. 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 They lift it up. Yeah. Oh, oh. That tough was luck. Her. Telegraphed actually. Very few un unforced errors coming from this RGS girl. Mm. She has very controlled play. She seems to know what she's going to do. Mm -hmm. She's anticipating where her opponent is going. Mm. But sometimes, you know, when you are leading and you have such a lead, do you sometimes lose the focus or the concentration? Oh, it happens. It happens, yeah. especially uh, in a tight... It can be a tight match, right. or you are facing a better opponent. Mm. Yeah, it's easier to lose. It's easy to lose focus. Mm. Yeah, because it's, it's so many rallies and so yeah. many so many things happening yeah. happening at one time, right? It's not just physical; it's very mental sport, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. You play each point, one point after another. Yeah. Don't think about the last point. Play the next one. Definitely. Well said. No matter what the score. Wow. Well, I play a bit of tennis. I don't <laughs> play it very well. Very social, but I, I keep telling myself that. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do anything about a pass, right? No, you can't. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Next point. Wow, the first game point. Yeah, oh taken wow. by shipping. 28. Wow. All done in less than 10 minutes again. We, st we started, we went live, ladies and gentlemen, just after 2 o'clock. We've had two matches done, down. We're on match 3, game 1, score 21-8. Yeah. <laughs> now a short uh, mm -hmm. breather. We'll be right back. And we're back. Jocelyn and I just had a couple of seconds to have a sip of water. Mm -hmm. We've been at this uh, correction. We started at 1 o'clock. It's coming on 2 o'clock now. It is actually a choice for the players to go into the court earlier mm -hmm. rather than wait. Uh, wait out the mm. two minutes. Ah. So as you can see just now, uh, Shippin chose to walk in the court earlier. I see. Yeah, so you don't have to fully utilize the entire two minutes. But but it is a one minute timeout. So even if one player walks on court early, the other player can choose to stay off court. Right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Um, in tennis, as an example, there is, in, in, in professional tennis, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a, a time duration for a serve. In badminton, yeah. how long is it? Is there any time duration? Uh, actually, so for professional badminton, you have to, after you take up the shuttle, you have to immediately go to serve. You can't dilly dally. Okay. There's yeah. So there's no timing. There's no timing. I see. Okay. But if you uh, delay too often, like what we have experienced yesterday with the men's singles. Yes. Yeah. Then the empire will like, uh, player, please get rid quickly. I see. Yeah. There's no point penalty. No. Uh, warning. If it, yeah. There's warning. Two warnings. Then you have a yellow card. What is the yellow card? Yellow card is uh, it's just uh, like a more serious warning. Okay, but, <laughs> but no point penalty. No. But after two yellow cards, you will get a red card. Then red card, you have to give your opponent uh, one point. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two yellows, one red, one point only. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Score now. Oh my. And you get fined for hard, 500 US dollars oh, okay. for getting a red card. Okay, so, so there's money involved. Yeah. yeah, there's money involved. Score is nine love. Oh my goodness. And we were just talking about yellow red cards. <laughs> Serving. <laughs> I think the equipment on court is very important as well. Yeah, good shoes. Important to have good traction. Mm, good shoes. Mm. <coughs> Yesterday, when uh, when we were doing the boys semi-final, <coughs> we noticed that the boys was would 
um, sometimes go off court to the wet rag uh, next wow. to the the umpire and wet their, 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 their shoes. Uh, we're not seeing so much of that happen today. Uh, mm. Explain why, peop why players do that uh, and uh, why it's not really happening today. I think uh, today the court seems that the condition is much better than wh okay. when we were at Monfort. I see. And um, I think they have better shoes as well. The, the guy okay. that we witnessed, he might have a worn out shoe. Right. Yeah. So the reason why they wet their shoes is so that they get better traction and the, uh, because in case the court is slippery. Is that, yep. is that correct? Yep. Okay. okay. So wow, here we you go. see. Yeah, she's ready to go. <laughs> she is. She just takes one sip of water and she's... She's on. Yep. She's on point. Oh, but that's a nice save. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nicely, oh nicely done. <laughs> okay. One well, eleven. She's managed to get one point in this second game. The girl from Fairfield. She's trying to put up. Um, um, really hard fight. A fight. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to put up one. We are here for the Badminton South Zone Finals Girls B Division between Raffles Girls Secondary School and Fairfield Methodist School. Raffles uh, RGS are obviously the resounding favorites, mm -hmm. having won this tournament 20 years in a row. Yes, wow. you heard it right, 20 years. And it's 14 2 now. Fairfield are formidable. Uh, Fairfield are formid formidable opponents. They've obviously, Arches have played Fairfield many times before. They've also played St. Margaret's and Almo Kill and CHIJ. Mm -hmm. uh, in the adjoining court, in third, fourth position, the match in play is St. Margaret's playing Almo Kill for the third and fourth position. And the score is 16 2. A very huge gap. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, RGS needs just five more points, and they've won the final because they've already taken it two matches to love. Mm. We're in match three. The second singles is nice uh, way faster and stronger than the first single. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So, would, is she the better player? compared mm. to first singles or just happens her opponent is weaker? I think it looks like the, uh, I think it's the opponent's weaker. That's why right. uh, her strength is amplified. Yeah, but I think when they put the first single and second singles uh, together, They're it about might about have same, a right? effect. They're about yeah. the same? Yeah. yeah. They are different, different strengths and weaknesses and right. it's really how they play to their own strengths and right. uh, exploit their opponent's right. weaknesses. Yeah. It's a great cross-court shot. Yeah. And she's taking it to match point and actually Championship point. Yeah. <laughs> 22. 20 points to two. Oh. oh. And that's it. So, Raffles Girl Secondary School, ladies and gentlemen, have won this championship. They are now officially the Badminton South Zone B Division Girls Champ Champions. Congratulations, Congratulations, RGS. Their girls are just, well, they're not making a lot of noise, are they? They're right behind us. Seems like they're doing this 20 years already. <laughs> this is just the 20. Yeah. This is just the 21st year. But for them, they're a new team. I mean, you know, they weren't in. They weren't playing B division two years ago. So. I guess the reputation. They was oh, wow. succeed. Or maybe they're told by their teachers, don't show off. Just just be polite. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it could be. Could be, huh? Yeah. Okay, we're back in two minutes, folks, for uh, match number four, the second doubles.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, for the match number four. <coughs> I beg your pardon, of the Badminton South Zone B Division Girls Finals between Raffles Girls Secondary School and Fairfield Methodist Secondary School. But if you've just joined us, this is match four. Uh, the first three matches were won by RGS, so officially they are the zone champions. However, these next two matches, match four and match five, are being played as a formality to give all players a chance to compete in this final. I'm Nigel Mossbergen, your match commentator. Uh, my co-commentator this afternoon is uh, Singapore number two national badminton player, Jaslyn Hui. Hi, Jaslyn. Hi, Nigel. And we are back with a second doubles. Yep. And from Raffles Girls School, we have Zion Song and Ashlyn Chua. Right. And Fairfield Sack, we have Nathan Nia Tan and Ellie Leong. Okay. Were you surprised that, well, we started at 1 o'clock. We, we went, we live streamed at 102 with the, the start of the first match, the first singles. Mm -hmm. We are now at 205, the start of the fourth match. Did you think that the three matches, the first singles, the first doubles, and the second singles, would take only 60 minutes? No, I'm definitely not surprised, you know, mm. like the the first singles, second singles, and the first doubles, they are all from the National Intermediate Squad. Right. They, are, they train on a daily basis, right. elite level, so right. I would think that they should take the game easily and right. comfortably. Far better players. Yeah. Huh? That's just long, well read. Mm -hmm. And 6-1 now. <laughs> and we are... Well, I think that sometimes your opponents are a little bit nervous. They feel intimidated to just push that ball, uh, that shuttle out. Yeah. A lot of unforced errors, I yeah. think. Yeah. You don't even need winners. Either forced errors or unforced errors, well put. See, she just pushed the, the shuttle right back. <laughs> we are witnessing the South Zone B Division Girls Final in the adjoining court, which is also being live streamed with commentary. We have the third and fourth placing between St. Margaret's Secondary School and Ang Mo Kyo Secondary. Uh, that one is perhaps is, is a tighter affair. We're not sure of the score. You can check on the live stream. We'll be checking on the match score for that match and coming back to you as soon as we get it. Mm -hmm. Looks quite exciting over there, right? Yep. And it's a 21-point scoring system, folks. Uh, no service over. At 11 points, there's a 60-second timeout and interval between games, a two-minute interval. Mm. And if it does go to a third game, and thus far we haven't gone to a third game, everything has been just two games. All three matches just went to two games. Mm -hmm. And we are on our uh, first interval already, 11-2. My goodness. Here we go. This is going to be even faster. Yeah. And we've only been playing for four minutes. <laughs> our Jess is obviously uh, very well coached. Uh, there are external coaches, all professional coaches. Yep. Um, I'm sure Fairfield is as well, as, as well as the other teams in the tournaments in Margaret's and Ang Mokeo. However, it's really good that the NSG has come back this year in 2021, given all the restrictions, and that uh, young sportsmen and women in Singapore, and for this B division, we're talking about Sec 3 and Sec 4 students, are given the opportunity, especially uh, this month of April and May and, and earlier, sorry, it, it all started from March onwards, um, to be able to compete. Mm -hmm. To represent the school? as well yeah in the sport that they love yep i think that's the most important the sport that they love passion mm -hmm. to be able to uh oh oh that's a miscommunication right there and it's in right yeah wow great shot 13-3 match four game one so just as a matter of interest uh, folks the Return of the NSG this year uh, in 2021. There was no, there were no games last year, 2020, due to COVID, obviously. 
The last time the games were held were in 2019. There are 12 uh, sports being um, competed in all non-contact sports. The 12 sports being badminton, tennis, table tennis, volleyball, sepa, tuck, roll, wushu, taekwondo, shooting, golf, rope skipping, which I really enjoy saying, bowling and gymnastics. All non-contact sports. We have 12,000 students from 270 schools, both primary and secondary, competing in these 12 sports. Six of the sports are being live streamed. The full NSG, actually, ladies and gentlemen, when it does come back, and I'm sure that uh, one day it will, will be all 29 sports, including the contact sports, well. with a total of 60,000 students being able to compete where are we score wise we are at 18-4 oh my yeah it's a quick one we are in the second doubles match four following this match ladies and gentlemen as a formality the third singles will be played RGS has already won the championships they've already won the tournament they are already the division champions the B division South Zone Champion. Girls Champions. Taking nothing away from Fairfield Methodist School because they have put up a good fight, a hard fight. They've tried their best. On the day, I think they've come up against, uh, what do you say, Justin, a much better opponent? Yeah, the defending champions. Yeah, they're playing faster than us, then we can talk. Yeah. <laughs> Score now. 21. 21 4. Wow. Okay. And we are into a uh, short recess. And we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the second doubles. We're in game two. Uh, the game one score, uh, it all happened really very fast. In, we are in match four. Match five will be the third singles. This match being played between Raffles Girls School and Fairfield Methodist School for the South Zone Badminton B Division Girls Final. RGS have already won the championship, won the tournament. There are three matches to love ahead. This match and the next match, the third singles, is being played as a formality to complete all the five matches so that the uh, old girls uh, have a chance on court to play. Forward, no. Yeah. The communication and um, the strength and experience, you can see that it's way better for RGS, right? Right. Yeah. You know, Justin, we were talking yesterday during the boys' semi-final mm. about uh, all the countries that you visited, given your experience. I mean, it's fabulous, isn't it? To say. Yes. yes. You, you're young. You're 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 completing your 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 graduate or uh, your polytechnic diploma studies is, is that correct yep diploma in business studies okay and even before you hit i mean this is a silly question but you don't even have to answer me are you 21 22 or 21. 20 21 yeah okay not even 21 and you've traveled to so many countries and you've even been to buenos aires for the youth olympic games oh yep. my um do you want to tell us some of the other places you've been the tournaments you've participated in yeah. and the fun and everything that you've had so the funny thing is, right after the Youth Olympic Games, right. it happened in uh, October 2018. Okay. And November 2018, I actually went to Canada. Oh, wow. For the World Junior Championships. From Buenos Aires to Canada? 
No, I came, came back, back to, to Singapore, Singapore and okay. then I went back. So my, uh, you know, my I have having such a bad jet lag. I'm <laughs> because sure. I came back and then I went back there again. Oh. Yeah, it was insane. It was a 25-hour flight there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. To Buenos Aires, right? Oh, to Canada after that. I see. Yeah. So we actually transited in Hong Kong. Right. And then we flew from Hong Kong to Canada for 15 hours. So then after that jet lag, how much time did you have to recover? Uh, I have a few days. Oh, okay. Yeah. But still, right? The body clock. Yeah. It has to turn back or move forward or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. That's called. That's why someone called a home court advantage. Yes, of course. Because if you are a Canadian or you are staying <laughs> at the Ameri uh, South America continent, uh, right. North America continent, then right. it will be easy for you. Of right? And also the weather, depending on time of year. Yeah, we went yeah. in November, so it's about winter time. Sure. You have to get used. Well, badminton is played indoors, but still you have to get you have to get used to the environment, right? Yeah, definitely. So right now we are eleven three. Right. We shall recessed. But I think I would think that they they're gonna walk into the court way faster than we thought. Yeah, I mean they're ready. Here they yeah. go. Here they go. You know, I can see that uh, with RGS, the coaching, uh, is, uh, the coaching team is, is very short, short yeah. instructions, few instru instructions, a couple of sips of water. Uh, that's it. Girls ready to play. Yeah, I would think that the coach just say, yeah, kids just keep doing what you're yeah, doing because yeah, exactly. it works. Well, there's nothing <laughs> else to. There's nothing else to coach, no yeah. other instruction. Keep doing what you are doing. Definitely. Mm. What advice do you want to give to young people who are listening this afternoon to you? Uh, you know, young girls, young boys who are uh, perhaps not yet in B division. They are C division. They are 13, 12, 13, 14 years old. They, they, they like you, started playing badminton young. And if they think they have the talent or they just like it, mm -hmm. what should they do? Uh, I think if you realize that you have a talent for it, then you should really work that talent into a huge strength that you right. have. So that the, when the coaches or the SBA's management team come down and scout, right. they'll pick you up right away. Correct. Yeah, and to, to really be disciplined, you know? Yeah. And um, really hold your ground on what you want, your dream. Mm. Because, you know, at, in secondary school, you know, everything is, uh, you have school, mm. you have badminton. Mm. But right after that, you have to choose your your career, your right? Path. Poly, your path in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So that's the moment when you will sum up. You will, is this even worth your time? Sure. Right? Sports. Sure. But then well, if is, you really it believe it, it yeah, is, yes. yeah, if you really believe in that dream, you should really go for it. And well, yeah. who knows? You never know what will, what will, sure. what you, what you get. You know. Sure. It's become a professional sport. Yeah, yeah. You can make a career out of it. Yeah, definitely. So as far as you're concerned, right? You are graduating with yeah. a diploma, business studies. Yep. So you're going to be armed with this diploma, mm -hmm. and also an opportunity to to play badminton and to. And to continue professionally and make it a living and mm. get a higher or better world ranking, etc., and yeah. play for your country, is that where you're headed? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I've answered your question, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the question. <laughs> yeah. I, if I put it into uh, major games, mm -hmm. then uh, the next one will be Sea Games 2021, as okay. we mentioned in Vietnam. Okay. Yes. Happening from 17 November to 5th December this year. Okay, great. And then after that, it will be the Commonwealth Games in 2022. Ah. Okay. Next year, mm -hmm. it will be in England. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, and yes, then the yes. following one will be the P Paris 2024 Olympics. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a dream, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's going to happen for sure. Yeah. So you heard it here first, folks. Jocelyn <laughs> Hui, currently Singapore number two. <laughs> she's going to be Singapore's number one. She's already, she's going to crack the world 100. Oh. You'll be hearing this name for many, many years to come. She's and driven. I'm sure you had a lot of support growing up, right, initially. Oh, that's it. What's yeah. the score? Where are we at? 21-4, 21-4. And this concludes the second doubles of the CD B Division goals. 21-4, 21-4. Match four is over. RGS is now leading the series. Four games are four matches to love. love. And we are coming up on the fifth singles this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, the third singles this afternoon. The fifth match. Uh, we started our live streaming at uh, just after 1 p.m. We're going to take a short uh, minute and a half break whilst the, the players warm up and we'll come back. <laughs> Following the, 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 the final match, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a prize presentation. 
So we'll be streaming um, that just for a short while before we say our goodbyes. In the adjoining court, uh, which is uh, which is uh, the third and fourth placings are, are, are being played. St. Margaret's taking on Al Mulkio secondary. And by the way, don't forget to go to uh, the, the website that you're seeing now, go.gov.sg slash NSG for live streaming, to watch previous games, to watch the third and fourth if you wish, um, to check the schedules, the, the results, to find out more about NSG and all the other sports. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Match number five, third singles. The RGS girls have won it, ladies and gentlemen. They have won four matches already. It's a best of five. So after the third match, which was the second singles, uh, they had already won the championship. However, as a formality, the, um, the last two matches are being played. Raffles Girls School versus Fairfield Methodist School. With me this afternoon, I'm Nigel Mossbergen, my co-commentator. Uh, Singapore badminton lady number two, Jocelyn Hui, part of the Team Singapore squad. Jocelyn? Hi, good afternoon everyone and Nigel. Mm. Yeah, looking forward to watch this third singles match with you. Who do we have on court? We have fifth goal from Raffles Gold School and Hong Red Ling from okay. Fairfield. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I hate to say this, but, but Raffles have really uh, done, done a really good job. They've done a great quick, fast job, and some of these matches are so fast, some of these games are so fast. Yep. Uh, some of the games are lasting like less than 10 minutes, the match is less than 15 minutes, the match of two, of two games. Um, so we've already completed four matches with only two minute intervals between matches. Uh, we started at just after one, we're now at 2.25. We're in the, um, we're in the third singles. Yeah, the last match. The final match. Following uh, the match, there will be a prize giving. We will be live streaming the prize giving. That's a nice, high, deep serve. <laughs> Jocelyn, you were saying earlier that most of, or all of these RGS girls are members of the National Intermediate Squad? Yeah, yeah, including... Steve. Including here. Yeah, including so all seven girls from RGS are yeah. members of the National Intermediate Squad? Uh, not for the second doubles. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I, like, I like the sound of the ping of the shuttlecock when it, <laughs> hits the, when it comes off the strings. Yeah. Of the racket. It's a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sound, especially on the smashes and... Oh, Hit perfectly. Long. Sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Center of the racket. <laughs> okay. Wow, oh, she. Oh, nice oh. drop. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. She has a long, deep, high serve. Yeah. Yeah. It becomes obvious after a while. She's going to serve like that now. She's yeah, I think that's, uh, that's, that's her, her preference. Yeah, that's yeah. her style. Wow. She seems very calm, collected. Mm. Her serving style seems to be working for her. Yeah. And it, her opponent at the moment doesn't seem to have an answer for that. How would you return that shot? Uh, because it's so high down, right? right? It's hard for you to contact the sweet spot of the shuttlecock. So what, you take it right at the top? You take it right at the top and you take it at the short contact. So that the, the, shot, the strength that comes out mm. from your hand it's concentrated. <coughs> the power is concentrated. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. 
Finally, yeah. Yeah, because when finally. he finally, yeah, when he drop, drops down like that vertically, but she's still winning the point because the ball and the shot was. Yeah, she got a good defense. <coughs> This, this, we're watching like a repeat. She's <laughs> 10 serves, 10 long, deep, high serves. 11 serves. Yeah, 11 serves. The Fevel Gill has an even served. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. You want to coach this? <laughs> tell tell our, our viewers what that serve, I mean, when, when, when they go, go back in court, right? Yeah. Explain the service motion. Explain that serve, because that's what we're seeing. Right, all we're saying is a serve, uh, either a long return or a wide return or a return, and then the RGS girl is just putting it away. She's doing something right. Yeah. So e explain that serve mm -hmm. and what her opponent should be doing. I think when she serves such, such, a, such a deep and a high serve, it's very hard for the Fairfield girl to take at the right contact because the shuttle is coming down so quickly. So for her, she had to find the right timing, the right contact to hit to the back. Yeah. And still that happened. Yeah. Okay. I mean so okay, so what should should they have done? Deeper cross court return? They watch oh, this, more watch this, accurate. Watch this. Yeah, this is okay. a good one. That's this a good is one. accurate. Ah, yeah. right, that's good. So it has to be an uh, accurate, preci precise right at the corner. Put some so pressure. That, yeah, put some pressure, exactly, precisely. So that the opponent will have a very good opportunity to kill it. The Fairfield girl is serving for the first time. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? Her serve? Deep, long, high. Oops, she lost it. 13-1. <laughs> it's a coaching clinic, folks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Same serve. I, I mean, I don't believe it. It's the same serve. Yeah, this is a good one, you see. Yeah. Once she put it right at the corner, she drag it out, and then uh, it's harder for our opponent to, to react. But as she gets older and matures, this RGS girl as a, as a, as a badminton player, right? Mm. Shouldn't she develop other coach uh, serving styles as well? Uh, I would think that because uh, she's not as tall, so ah, if oh she's yes. doing a backhand serve, it's mm. hard. She, the opponent, have, have a chance to put yeah. her right at a deep end. Actually, for a moment, I thought that's what I thought. Yeah. I was saying, is she serving that way because of height? Yeah, yeah. It, it could okay. be a possible reason. So she's obviously been working on this serve. She's been practicing Definitely. this serve uh, hundreds and hundreds because it's perfect. Yeah. Look. Every Very serve, nice. same height, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. same depth. Nice one. Yeah, oh. oh, just yeah, yeah, little long. Yeah. <coughs> Strangely enough, uh, folks, this has become a very interesting uh, match to commentate because of just oh, um, a fair play to the to the Fairfield girl. She's trying very hard to. She's ob she obviously knows where that serve is going to go. She just has to figure out. How where she's going to return, Definitely. where she's going to put it, 17 to 217. Yeah. And she serves similarly, same stuff. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh. That's oh. 18 to. <laughs> so, folks, if you've just joined us, uh, Raffles Girls Secondary, who have already won the South Zone B Division Girls Final. They've won four matches. They're now taking a resounding lead in match five, the third singles. First game mm -hmm. against Fairfield Methodist School. In the adjoining court, we have the third and fourth position also being live streamed with commentary uh, between St. Margaret's and Amo Kiyosek. This Raffles girls uh, player, she seems to have a very good uh, court awareness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's reading the shuttle, she's reading where it's going to drop. And there she goes. Rhythmic. Her serve's very rhythmic. It's the same service motion. Oh my, just now. Same service motion. I think she's. Mm. I, what, what I find amazing is that she's young mm -hmm. and she's obviously, you know, excellent. Yeah. This is muscle memory, yeah? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> right? And she does. Yeah, amazing. There, there we go. Yeah. 
First game is done, 21 3. 21 3. And we will have a short break, a short interval okay. before we are back. We'll come back. On the adjoining court in the third, fourth position, uh, we see St. Margaret's play Amokyo secondary in the second doubles. Um, they're only in the fourth match, so we can assume that it's been a, a tough fight. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll just try and get you the scores of uh, the match scores to see how who's ahead. Is it St. Margaret's or Amokyo? Are we, are we in a dead rubber? Okay. Uh, Jocelyn, I have it that Amokyo is already, uh, they've already won at ah. three matches to love. So this is uh, merely a formality. I see, I see. Congratulations. To Amokyo, Amokyo. Yeah, who came in third in the tournament. Yeah. So, folks, here we are. Four love. One four. Oh, one four. Good. That shutter just went in. All right, here we go. She's going to try this long, deep. Ah. Tomorrow, uh, folks, the, there will be, uh, I will be commentating and hopefully Justin will be joining me. I think we'll, we will be at the uh, North Zone Finals Boys B Division at Monfort Secondary School. I think it's at 12.30 or 1.30. Please check as the schedule, folks, for the timing. Um, it should be quite interesting. It'll be an interesting match uh, because coming up tomorrow is Murray Stella and they'll be taking on Canberra Sec. Wow. And Murray Stella yesterday, they, um, well, I guess I can use the word, they obliterated uh, Bowen Sec. Mm. Five matches, right? Yeah. Was five it five love? Yeah. Five love. Yeah. Although there are very good, very good rallies and matches going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Murray Stella, Bo Bowen put up a really hard fight. Yeah, yeah. Like the first doubles, right? 21 19. Yep. For yep. The third game. They had it. Yeah. Couple of unforced areas, mm -hmm. lost it in the head. Rush of blood to the head, like they say. <laughs> Lost the point. Yep. It's a mental game as much as a physical game, isn't it, yeah. Jocelyn? Yep, yep. Yeah. How to hold, a, hold on their foot when they are yeah. so close to the end. Yeah. Psychology, like they say. Sports psychologists. I'm sure you're, you, you've got some talking to you guys, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> some weekly check-ins. I'm sure. Yeah. <coughs> Think positive. Mm. <laughs> but when you're 15, 16... You know, at this age, 14, 15, 16, I, I think it's, it's a lot of nerves. How do you yeah. keep cool and calm under pressure? Uh, personally, uh, visualization works a, lot for me, works a lot for me. Explain that. Yeah, so before my match, I will take about 30 minutes to visualize uh, what's going on. Mm. So according to my strength mm. and my opponent's strength, my weaknesses mm. and her weaknesses, then mm. I will kind of analyze, uh, visualize what's going on, what mm. will go on. <laughs> and You're playing um, the points in your head. Yeah, yeah. And also at uh, different, I also had to uh, visualize that what if it doesn't work? Yeah. You know, what if my game plan doesn't work? What am I mm -hmm. going to do? Yeah. So, that, that so what's helped plan B? Plan B, uh, it really depends on what's, what my opponent What's strengths happening on the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes you play, you do have an off day, right? I um, mean, you, you know what I mean? You, you, you're a bit off. Something's yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what do you do to, to try and get back in the groove? To wipe off everything and start from <laughs> zero start again, again yeah. yeah so it, it will be a <laughs> difficult one like easier said than done sometimes yeah, yeah. i'll have to visualize as it goes on yeah, yeah 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 good here we go that deep high serve oh that's a nice, nice. one oh. oh well oh he went in, it's in. in. Yeah. You, s you could sort of read that 13 3. Mm -hmm. in game two it's coming to an end soon folks yeah Oh, oh, nice try. Nice. We're not taking away anything from Fairfield Methodist, folks. They put up a really hard fight. Mm. They've come up against, uh, uh, I guess the word would be too good an opponent today. Yeah. Raffles girls, believe it or not, have won the South Zone Finals for the last 20, 20 years. years. That's unbelievable. I'll say that again, 20 years. Um, and in the nationals, however, they've always come up uh, second because inevitably they would face the Singapore Sports School, of which uh, Jaslyn is alumni. So you guys have won it 
every year, right? Yeah. <laughs> there is one instance that RGS did ah. won a uh, sports school oh, in the wow. B division wow. when I was in C division. Okay. So We're back lucky. in uh, <laughs> 2014, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, in the nationals, yeah, our wow. it, it's a really tough fight. Yeah. I'm really sure. Good. I'm sure. A very nice game. Right. Can you tell our listeners and our viewers uh, out there a little bit more about the experience in the sports school? What's it like, especially for young students who are listening now, who are in C Division perhaps, or kids who may have the mm -hmm. opportunity to go to the, the sports school? What's it like? What's going to be happen What's If you get selected to go to the sports school, what happens? Um, first of all, it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Really fun because you get to train every day, you get to do something that you love every day. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it doesn't compromise your education, right? So right. that will be fun. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be tough. Okay. You know, the, on those days that you don't want to wake up early in the morning, you know, to do your to do your training, to do your workouts, your homework, you have to do it. I see. Yeah. But that builds your character, mm -hmm. you know. What's a normal day like? Uh, we start our day at 6.30. We start okay. our training at 6.30 and it ends about 8. Okay. And we will shower have our breakfast and class starts at 9. Okay. Yeah, and it ends around in the afternoon, uh, one fifty-five to 2. Okay. And then I was, we start our afternoon training from 3.30 to 6. Okay. And have our dinner, take a short rest, and... Yeah. Uh, and? Supervise study time to mm -hmm. do our homework from wow. 7.45 wow. to about 9.30. So, 8 hours sleep? Eight 9 hours? Sleep. hours? <laughs> okay. And that's it, folks. Uh, to anyone, I don't know what it was, but two. Twenty-one, two. I think it's about there. Okay. It's less than ten. Okay. Twenty-one, five. 21 okay. Five. So we've come to the final match. We're game set match, folks, as they say. Uh, all five matches done. Raffles girls have won all five. Two games to love in each one. So if you talk about match score, it's five love. So congratulations to Raffles Girls School. Yep, congratulations. You they guys are did now, really well. Yeah, they did really well. They are now preparing the uh, um, prize presenting prize ceremony. Prize presentation ceremony. I think the prize table will be brought onto the floor. And because of the the bubble that's been created, guys, the third and fourth placing match will still continue in in an an adjoining court. Um, and that is being hotly contested. Well, actually, not really hotly contested because Amunky already won it. Uh, three matches to love. But Amunky playing St. Margaret's right now. They are in their second doubles. They will continue. Um, the prize presentation is coming up. I was talking to uh, Justin earlier about the... And then we have to stop because of the score. So we were talking about the... Uh, sports school and you're saying it's it's a lot of fun but there are challenges uh, and okay, uh, okay. there is we don't have to wait okay okay all right so the experience was fun was it yeah it was fun uh, you know it really builds my mindset character. Uh, my character and everything uh, made, made a lot of good friends Made a lot of good friends. I'm sure. And good, good teachers, good sport coaches. Mm. They're all from there. Because one thing that I really love about sports school is that uh, we all believe in that same dream. You know, that mm. Olympic dream, <laughs> that world number one dream. Wow. Yeah, everything, every part of the school is built around that dream. Yeah. Yeah, Excellent. so uh, it's so different, you know. Okay, back to court. Fairfield is uh, receiving the runners up trophy yep. for coming in uh, second. Well, you know, losing. Tough luck. Tough luck, but they'll be back next year, I'm sure. They'll be back next year. They'll be back next year. This zone will never change in terms of the teams that play in it. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> and there we go. The champions, ladies and gentlemen, of the South Zone B Division Girls Final. Raffles Girls Secondary School. They've won it 20 years, so, well, 21 years now. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Congratulations, RGS. So there we go. They have won the tournament. Uh, excellent job. We want to congratulate both teams for doing so well. Individual medals will be given. All the, the, the players will be receiving individual medals. 
So they've done a great job. Uh, Jocelyn, I think we've come to the end of our commentary, our live stream. Um, we, we want you to, uh, to uh, continue watching, folks. We'll punch up the website. Let's punch up the website. If you want to check uh, old matches going on, old schedules, all results, matches coming up. Tomorrow there is the boys' final. That's happening at about 12.30, 1 o'clock. Uh, I'll be doing that, the North Zone final. Hopefully, Jocelyn's going to be with me. Go to go.gov.sg slash NSG for more information. Jocelyn, it's been a, a real pleasure having you uh, co-commentate with me the, the last two days. Uh, it's been fun. We're, we've been having a conversation like we've known each other for a long time. Yeah, likewise, Nigel. It's <laughs> really fun. It's good to uh, watch games and uh, mm. you know explain, analyze certain mm. tactics to you, mm -hmm. and also at the same time relive some memories. Yeah, yeah. About exactly. when you were 15 years old. Yeah, yeah precisely. <laughs> like we used to go down to support the boys mm. in Montfort Secondary School. Right. And actually, this is my first time watching the South Zone, so is it's been right? a really good experience. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I was from the North Zone. Right. Yeah. So anyway, hope to see you tomorrow or when when the other badminton finals and, and matches are going to be held. But right now, on behalf of everyone, we want to thank you uh, for, uh, for being here this afternoon and wish you all the very best yep. as you, thank you Nigel. In get better and increase your world ranking. Yep. Okay. Oh, sorry. So yeah. Increase your, no, decrease. How does it work? Mm. World ranking. Number one, Just decrease from 100, right? Get to be a better. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> up your ranking. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Justin. So, thank you. Stay safe and take care, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nigel Mossbergens.